God, Age of the Ring campaign flashbacks. Uh, he okay, Gondor, quick, you've still got time! There's no heal, why is this? Well? How do you know it's a bad thing? Huh? Really? See what I'm doing? I do. Turning that upside down. I do. This is working. Hello everybody, I'm Redevil. Welcome to Aelin Varen. I'll be honest, I never vibed with this map, but hopefully we get a good game. Redevil, you say good game every time. Hey, there's no, there's no reason not to hope, okay? Just listen to Gandalf, all right? He was all about that hope. In the top left, we have Astro as a Dolgal door. We've seen Astro before. In fact, I think we've actually seen him play DG before. And I think he done goofed, so we'll see what happens. In the bottom right, it is violence once again. And there's also a Gondor once again. Let's hope Gondor can win a game. I feel like they just keep losing. Anyway, stable start, tried and true, no archery range this time. And um, I feel like I feel like their DG should go spider start versus Gondor. Because uh, spiders will just destroy Pinneth Gellin, and Pinneth Gellin are so popular for Gondor players. Um, and obviously you know they're gonna go Pinneth Gellin anyway because Broken Rabble. So, I think I saw a spider there. He does have one. Uh, I don't see one on the map. Maybe... Are these spiders? They are spiders. They were moving very quick on the mini-map. I'm just that good, I could tell. Anyway, I have a feeling that Violence is going to be under a lot of strain. Not because he's a bad player. Oh, no, 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 no. But because he's up against Dogledore on a tiny map. And, um, yeah, he's just going to get pinned in his base all the time. And Broken Rebel are just going to make his life a living hell. Uh, Violent's gonna, um, get around that by building farms away from his base. So, um, like when he goes to harass in his base, not all of his farms are under threat, obviously. Anyway, there's Chill from the Grave. I think that might be a mistake one from Astro. I don't think Chill from the Grave is... Honestly, I mean, Chill from the Grave used to get used all the time before people realized how good the stun was. Now people just go with Chill from the Grave because it leads to the dogs, and the dogs are really good. Okay, a counterattack. You want to get in DG's face. It's easier said than done. He does get a mill. And uh, obviously every building you take down with DG is uh, another builder they have to manually make. Because who doesn't like doing that? Oh my goodness, I know I skipped a bit of the intro. Like, the units were already fighting before I was done. But Baragond is out already. Doing what Athena should have done last game. And just uh, unabashedly rush the... Uh, Archer hero. Anyway, there's heal. Heal will definitely go into a Thillian Woods. So that's a good thing. But it's it's still not often picked, and well, he's already used it, so Baragon's got no heals. Second mill has gone down. That's actually a bit of a big deal. Is the forward jail gone down yet? Well, he does have Lin here there, but I don't think he's going to get the forward jail. Now, does Baragon one shot spiders? I think I'm clicking on the wrong spider. No, I two shots them. No, what the fuck? Hold up. That was the banner carrier spider. Or whatever the spider equivalent is of a banner carrier. And he just one shot him all the same. Bro. Baragond has got hands. I expect nothing less from Bill Paxton. Oh! Stables is being upgraded. If we see some Gondorian knights. Well, Drons is just going to bust a fat nut, I swear. Maybe we'll actually get to see them do something. People keep telling me. People come up to me. They tell me. But yeah, no. Um, I, I, I hear a lot about how good they are, but I have yet to see it. And these two pit of Gela, literally. <laughs> these guys are on their day off. They got called in on a Sunday. and They're pissed about it. But they were able to save the farm. And yeah, upgraded stables. No way, Jose. No way, Spanish name. Let's go. Uh, wait, isn't Baragon still in there? Oh, he swapped through his uh, spear. That's why there was no arrows flying. Okay. Well, Violence does have a little secluded area here. Doggledore has not found him. But it is kind of going the way I thought it would. Forward Jail is still up. Oh, Astro, you bastard. There's another Forward Jail on the right. Yeah, it's just going to be Gondor Fort Defense. I think the worst thing Astro could do is feed under it. He's just going to have to destroy as many farms as he can. And then in the meantime get Kargast or Kamul or... You know what? Even Sinethra would be really good. But yeah. 
He needs to just only go for farms and not anything else. Is he hitting him here? He is. Okay, that's annoying. Maybe one more spider to replace the one you lost. And, I mean, there's... There's two clansmen on there. Not sure what that build is doing. He's just sort of checking the gate. <laughs> the canary down the mine, so to speak. But yeah, jail is going to go down. Okay, that's actually not too bad. That's actually... Okay, yeah, that's decent defense by... Um, um, by violence there. Okay, almost tier two. The spam has somewhat stopped. Um, I think he's going to save up for a hero. It could be any of them, honestly. And here's Knights of Minas Tirith. He did go for the dogs. And why did he go with the dogs? Well, I mean, if you're pretty certain that Gondor's going to go hero spam, I mean, you'd have to be a genius to figure that out. The walls are a great way of sniping a hero. Particularly if you spawn it towards the end of a battle, when the heroes are going to try and retreat, and then they can just run them down. Actually, you don't even need to wait for the end of the battle. Usually, popping the dogs will cause the enemy to retreat, and that means they're heroes. Maybe violence is uh, going to stand his ground there, and the wolves won't do as much. Yeah, no, builders going to be... Dude, I love the respect builders have. Because they're so tanky, they can, <laughs> they can actually taunt the enemy like that. Okay, mixing in some uh, spearmen now. Wait, Boromir's on the field? Oh shit, Sean Bean's here. Well, I think all those farms in the top right were getting their value if he's got Sean Bean already. Sean Bean before Faramir, okay. Sean Bean before Forlong as well. Alright, Minister of Knights going with Baragon. I kind of like them side by side. They look pretty cool, I'll be honest. Okay, this is going well for Gondor. I was expecting Dogodor to just be constantly harassing, but it's 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 uh, let off a little bit. Okay, there's the spawn. There's Kamul. Uh, Kamul, sorry, Krimpol. And yep, that went exactly. I mean, yeah, case in point. Don't underestimate the dogs when it comes to hero killing, especially this fucker. What is this one? Deals strong damage to selected enemy. Yeah, it can. This can even hit heroes. I'm pretty sure. Of Gondor will protect these lands. Are you sure about that? Crimple's just gonna. St oh, Crimple went in deep. Uh oh. Triple calf. Wolves come back. Baby come back. Wait, Borum is knocking back the wolves. Crimple. Oh, wow. This could be. Wow. That was. Uh... That, is about that, that was about as wasteful as it gets. That's actually really unfortunate. I thought he was gonna start one shorting the calf, and then he went in deep, and. Uh, yeah, that was. That was it over. I thought maybe reinforcements would come in here and uh, yeah, no, it was just Boromir and his big dick waiting for him, so yeah, not what you want to see. Or maybe you do, who the hell knows. Uh, DG base looking pretty barren, no harbingers. Just sticking with the jails. Cavalry on full retreat. What's going on here? Ah, he sent all the cavalry back to deal with the spiders. Marketplace out for violence now. Makes it easier to camp in the base. Okay, he's going with Lone Tower. Well. Baragon, at your service. Baragon's back. Minister of Soldiers are going to be out soon. But the tower, I know the tower and barricade give you armor. And people always say that, that it makes it worth it. But they die so quickly, dude. I actually went barricade last time I went Mordor. I was like, oh sweet, drop the armor on a battle I'm already winning. And it just went down instantly. Literally crumple and one dude took it down in seconds. You can say skill issue, but I mean, I, 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 would, I would disagree on that. Anyway, Cargast on the field. There's Crimple. And DG actually in the... Uh, yeah, numerically behind. This is very odd from DG. 
This is like the polar opposite of what we're used to. And I like how because this tower is stealth, it actually has remained undetected. Because it hasn't got the arrow upgrade, so it's not revealing itself. That's actually kind of funny. Those cavalry have walked past that tower. The builder just walked past it too. That's actually kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, not, not much is happening. Uh, okay. Is he going to mount up? Is he going to be... Is he going to be a uh, knight farmer? Uh, wait, has this one been found? Okay, yeah, that one's been found. All right. Well, until DG does something, there's not much to say. Okay, he's countered. He's finally moving, actually. Here we go. But he's got to face a lot of heroes and a lot of clansmen. Alright, all of his troops are on the left. They're not roaming with the heroes. That seems strange. Okay, two Ravagers on the field. No black flags, but... That's fine. Not really. I actually feel much better when Ravagers are level 2, but whatever. They do get the XD, okay. A little lapse from violence, probably muckering his heroes in the top right. If 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 Cargast was here, then he could make a good push here, but I think Ravagers on their own is not gonna be enough to really get um a lot done in his base. Okay, Boromir le leading a little excursion. Man, look how fast Cargas moves. Look at him! Holy shit, just zooming. Okay, Kamal's on the field. Nice. Level that bad boy up and send him in with the Ravagers. Okay, he could really do some damage. If he consolidates, then he could really do some damage. Did Farmer mount up? No. What's this dude? Oh! I think Baragond actually got the uh, tower. That's a shame. I was kind of rooting for that tower. Hold up. Ravagers are returning home. Uh, he doesn't know this. If Fog of War, we're on uh, Gondor Cam. Alright, drop the tower. Hey, there it is. Okay, watch it go down. Okay, if he if he focuses it, then it will go down. Did I just hear Gandalf? Okay. Look, look how little units is hitting it, and it's on half health. Wait, did the dogs? Oh, Barmid, just just run and hide. Close your eyes; they can't see you. Actually, it looks like the dogs actually haven't noticed you. Ravagers are on you now. Oh, uh, Gandalf, any second now. God, Age of the Ring campaign flashbacks. Uh, he okay, hold on, hold on, quick, you've still got time! There's no heal, why is this? Okay, well, at least the Lone Tower... So okay, no, it didn't. Yeah, but did, was, I, was I proved right there? You saw, there was like half a broken rabble hitting it, and it was on half health. Okay, well, we've got Night Faramir... We got Knight Faramir, and we got, um, Mounted Gandalf. Surely. Surely it's fine. And I think the other Ravagers must have attacked Gondor here. We will protect the White City. And they actually went for the Marketplace. Oh, God. <laughs> it's actually a shame that the Marketplace survived for, uh, DG. Uh, from D DG's point of view. Getting that would have actually been, uh, pretty good. That and the hero would have been... Excellent. And don't mind if I just level up? Yep, thanks for the XP, dude. Don't mind. Alright, Necromancer's on the field. Assuming he doesn't get stunned by Gandalf, should be fine. There's Joe from the grave. Gonna try and catch up to the cab. No, it does not slow down that much. Oh, he used Wither! Wait, he used Wither and he still didn't destroy this with the follow-up? Okay, that was pretty bad, then. That's actually bad value. Okay, Necromancer's going in. He's used. He summoned his own pet dog, which doesn't have a name. Um, the other hero should still be alive, right? Yeah, there's Krimpul and Kargast. Okay. I think Kamul must have actually perished. Okay, here we go. I'm a buff from Baragond, which is like 30%. Okay, let's see what Minister do to... Bro, is he going for the fort? Too soon? Okay, this could be this could be rough. He's got rebuild, doesn't he? Oh, rebuild's not back. They're doing a lot of damage. Wait, Gondor's on DG's fort. 
Those Gandalf who's dismounted, real shit's about to start. There's the stud. There's no way they're going to do it. There's Oath of Ale to guarantee that the fort goes down. Wizard Blast the fort for maximum HP. There's the heal. DG's fort goes down. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Rebuild. There it is. It came back right on cue. There's a lot of ravages though. Boromir is back with Denethor defending Gondor in the last second. Dude, how cinematic is this? Boromir and Denethor. Nivador and Stonework is coming for the extra armor. No way. Clutched by the Stonework. Dude, saved by the Stonework? Is it still going to go down? Necromancer's full health. Boromir knife throw. Lower the armor. There's Kargast. Dude, healing by the, f the well as well. Oh, he does get it. Not enough to go into his shapeless form though. Oh, dude. Oh, the last building must have gone down. Dude, that was cinematic as hell. Denethor literally got out of the bath, out the front door, and started killing undead. With Boromir. That's, that's how he wanted it to go, ideally. That was awesome. That was, um... Th th that was very old DG aggro. And then, fuck it, we'll just go fort rushing. Yeah, sure, why not? Hope you guys all enjoyed. Like, home, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time. Goodbye.